two monster icons, two monstrous appetites. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going head to head with Hunger and taking on Papa John's brand new monster meal deal. Now Papa John's have released this over here in the UK to celebrate the ultimate clash of the titans, which is Godzilla versus Kong. Whose team are you on? Godzilla, Kong or the shopkeeper? Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions for future meal deal challenges, then do comment down below. And if you yet to subscribe do consider doing so by hitting that subscribe button and that icon next to it so you get notified every time i upload a new video in front of me here i've got the works xxl pizza i've got two sides which are the poppers and also some chicken wings and the dessert which is an incredible looking brownie tray i do have some water to help me out here but the meal deal does come with tango so i will have a little go at the tango first but as you all well know i am not a massive fan of fizzy drinks um so i will go as much as i can um but i've got some water to fall back on so without further ado guys let's get that timer on and let's get into some food three two one we have our first slice go Happy Papa John's Day everyone and welcome back to another video where today we are taking on the monster meal deal released by Papa John's. The meal deal was released in celebration of the clash of the ultimate two titans and that is Godzilla versus Kong. Now these two absolute legends go head to head and so today I'm going head to head with hunger and taking on the monster meal deal. As a Papa John's first timer, I was expecting the monster meal deal to be, well, a little bit more monstrous. Could it cure the hunger? Yes, absolutely. But could it end worlds? Certainly not mine. I was expecting this XXL pizza to be enormous and it was big, but not huge. The sides were modest at absolute best, but the dessert did surprise me. It was a tray of brownies and not just a single brownie. But what this meal deal lacked in size, it definitely made up for in flavour. The quality and overall taste of this food was very surprising and very delicious. I enjoyed the pizza. The base tasted very authentically stone-baked. The sides were agreeable and the dessert. Just wait till you get to the dessert. Just wait. This is actually delicious. I've never had a Papa John pizza before, but this, this base is amazing. And whilst that stone baked flavor and the quality is always nice to have, when it comes to challenges, it is not so easy to contend with. I would say that quality does have an impact on how quickly I can eat things. And I don't know if it's just a psychological thing that I want to savor it or whether it is just harder to eat because it's better quality. But I would say that this pizza definitely slowed me down. And I think you can see from the base, there is that incredible, crust on the bottom which I absolutely love the flavor of that I just wanted to savor And whilst we finish off this pizza, I just wanted to address the pinned comment I made on my last video. I just want to thank everybody that responded to that. It is very difficult to navigate the world of YouTube sometimes and I really wanted to know what I was doing wrong and how I can improve generally. I didn't get much constructive criticism as such. Um, a lot of people did suggest restaurant challenges and now that restaurants have opened again, we will be heading out and doing some more restaurant challenges you'll be pleased to know and so I'm very excited to announce that and hope that I can kind of gain a little bit more momentum and support for the channel moving forward. It's just an empty box I've put both sides into here. The 
very cold chicken wings. Just over six minutes in and we are on to the sides which have gone a little bit cold. So we've got chicken wings and chicken nuggets. Now I'm a huge fan of chicken wings and I'm often asked about my chicken wing eating technique. If you guys want to see me do a video on that, potentially get a load of different flavoured chicken wings and show you guys how to eat it in the fastest and cleanest way, then let me know down below. Now as for these particular chicken wings, they have gone cold and I would recommend that you tackle them warm they are so much easier to eat fast. The meat comes off the bone so much better and you need to drink less water and use less condiments to get them down and so I would always recommend tackle the wings first and hopefully at some point in the future I will also take my own advice. As we head into the brownie portion of this challenge, I am going to leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. But first, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for your support and most of all, motivating me throughout this past year. I really appreciate everything. So please enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Amazing brownie. It's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, I loved it. My mind is blown. How I, how, I can't speak. How have I never had Papa John's before? So I would definitely recommend checking them out if you haven't already. I don't know how I made it 30 years in my life having never tried Papa John's, um, but here we are. We're first timing it and I'm really impressed. Pizza was great, the works, amazing i am one of those people i like a mixture of things i like options and i like to mix and match so i think that worked for me really well the brownie was like the super crispy on the top with like the fudginess on the inside and they were quite thin so they weren't too stodgy and i just thought it was <coughs> fabulous can i eat them fast because that is not in my nature but i really really enjoyed the brownies and that is how brownies should be eaten full enjoyment the sides were okay i had wings and chicken poppers i would recommend ordering wings anywhere and everywhere because i love them they are very tricky to eat though as you all well know uh chicken poppers easy to eat but they're not the best ones i've ever had um, and that's absolutely everything from today's challenge everyone. We managed to do that in just under 12 minutes. I obviously could have gone faster but decided on this occasion not to and to actually just sit and enjoy it a little bit and it was very enjoyable. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more box meal challenges comment down below let me know. Let's have a discussion and try and get some more content out there that you guys want to see. 
Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or suggestions for the future. Box build challenges and do comment down below. And if you have yet to subscribe, do consider doing so by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate you and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Are you Team Godzilla, Team Kong, or Team Shots? Obviously, you're all gonna say the shots, obviously. Waste not, what not?